Hi everybody, it's Rebecca Virginia, and it's that time of year to get started with our Christmas crafting. Today I have three Buffalo Check DIYs to share with you. This first DIY is a standing wood truck sign. Here are the supplies you'll need for the project. I'm starting off by painting the main front part of the truck black. Everywhere that I'm painting black is actually going to be covered with the Buffalo Check scrapbooking paper, but because I know that there's no way I'm going to get it to all line up perfectly, instead of having the bare exposed wood show through, I'll have this black color show instead. Next I flipped over the truck and the Buffalo Check scrapbooking paper, and I'm just taking a pencil and tracing out the entire truck. Then I cut it and placed it over the front of the wood truck. I did have to cut out the door separately, which I didn't show in the video, but it's the same process for that. You can't really tell in the video, but it didn't line up exactly perfectly. There were little spots where the wood did show through, but luckily because I painted it black, it was a lot harder to tell where I made my mistakes. Then I'm just taking Mod Podge, and I like to use this on a paintbrush. I think it applies a little bit more even and I'm just laying that down and pressing the paper down. To make sure that the scrapbooking paper applies really evenly and there's no air bubbles or anything, I usually take a old gift card that I have lying around, but I couldn't find it in this instance, so I actually just took the tag that came with the truck and that worked perfectly. Next up is where you get to be creative and paint your truck however you would like. I didn't film too much of this because it's really all up to personal preference and you could paint it really whatever colors that you wanted. I kept it pretty traditional, kept it with a red door and a green Christmas tree. I did add some snow to the truck wheel wells and I did do a little bit of a splatter technique on the Christmas tree as well. I was really happy with how all of my painting came out but I still felt like something was missing so I took a scrap piece of burlap ribbon and cut three little flags. Next up I took a felt paint pen marker and I wrote out joy onto the flat marks. Once I wrote out joy onto my flags, I placed them on my truck and kept adjusting until I found the placement that I liked best. Then I hot glued them onto some jute cord and hot glued the jute cord onto the wood truck. If you were to keep the truck as a hanging sign, then this would be the last step. You wouldn't need to do anything else, but because I'm making mine into a standing sign, I am painting these tumbling tower blocks in a deep brown color, and I also took a wood block sign from the fall. Unfortunately, my Dollar Tree didn't have any of the Christmas ones out yet, but it's really not a big deal because you just paint over it anyway. So I'm painting over the top in a dark brown color. I did a similar version of this sign in the fall. I will link it above and I found that the paint on top of the block was chipping when I put the truck down. So how to combat this was to put some Mod Podge down, just a layer on top to make sure nothing chips off. To get the wood truck to stand on its own, I'm hot gluing the tumbling tower blocks we painted earlier to the back wheel of the wood truck. I was about to hot glue my wood truck onto the base when I realized the brown really didn't go with the black and red buffalo check, so I painted that in a deep brown as well, but I left it on the sides and the back because I didn't think it clashed that bad, just when you were looking at it from the front, I didn't want to have two competing prints. Lastly, I put some hot glue on the bottom of the tumbling tower blocks and hot glued the truck to the base. And that is everything that you need to do to complete this really cute Buffalo Check wood truck sign. Next up is a fast and easy DIY transforming a Christmas ornament into a freestanding accent piece. Here's what you'll need to complete the DIY. To start off this DIY, we're going to use these white tin buckets that come two in a pack at the Dollar Tree and are found in the wedding section. I'm taking some jute cord and wrapping it around the white tin about four or five times.
Next, we're going to take a wood dowel and hot glue it to the base of our ornament. The ornament I chose was a Christmas tree, but if you don't wanna use this exact one, you could use another ornament from the Dollar Tree. Then I took some dark brown paint and painted the wood dowel to make it look like a stem. And I realized while I was doing this, I really should have done it before I hot glued it onto the ornament. So I did end up making another one of these and I did paint it first and it was a lot easier and less messy. So I do suggest doing that. Next up, I'm taking some leftover floral foam that I had in my craft bin and I'm filling up the tin bucket with it. I added some Spanish moss on top of the floral foam and all around the bucket for my tree ornament to live in. You can add as little or as much as you would like. I inserted my Christmas tree ornament into the floral foam in the white tin and then continued adding on some Spanish moss around the tree. And that's all you need to do to complete your freestanding Christmas accent piece. The last DIY is this Buffalo Check peace sign. Here's what you'll need to complete the project. I'm starting off by painting the base of this sign black, just like I did in the first DIY with the wood truck. That way, when I'm tracing the scrapbooking paper on, if anything doesn't line up perfectly, we'll have this black color show through as opposed to the wood. I'm tracing out the P, A, and E in a buffalo check scrapbooking paper, and then I'm also tracing out the E and the C in a burlap looking scrapbooking paper. After you trace it out, go ahead and cut it. I'm going to be having the burlap scrapbooking paper underneath the buffalo check, so I'm placing that down first so that the buffalo check letters can overlap. Luckily for this DIY, I was able to locate that old gift card, so I'm using that to smooth out the scrapbooking paper to get rid of any air bubbles left by the Mod Podge. You'll see when I put down the P buffalo check scrapbooking paper that there are some areas that I didn't cut out perfectly, but again, because I have that black paint down, it's a lot less noticeable as it would have been with the exposed wood. You can leave the sign as is with the scrapbooking paper, but I felt like there was a small element missing, so I took a red jingle bell and attached some jute cord to it, and then I decided to hang it from the C in the sign. You can leave your sign standing or add a piece of jute to the back of it to transform it into a hanging peace sign. Thanks for watching my Buffalo Check Christmas DIYs. Until next time, keep searching, keep creating.